Hello YouTube, today I'm doing a quick video on setting up multi-algorithm mining on a Bakel miner. So I found this uh, miningpoolhub.com that will support this. You can also do this on NiceHash, but I think NiceHash might have a higher fee than this. So this is the one that I'm going with. Um, right here on their page you can uh, create an account and then on the home page they have these uh, Bakel miner settings right here. So all it is is a list of five pools that you have to add to your Bakel. So I have already done that here. You go here, create a worker, and make sure you have it set to ASIC Bakel. That'll support the five pools that you want to be using. These five pools. So you put these as your top five pools in your device. I've actually left one pool ahead of all these in case I want to override this at some point, but I messed up the URL so it doesn't actually do anything. Um, the way that the switching works is if we say that X13 happens to be the most profitable today, what Mining Pool Hub is going to do is they're going to turn this, this, this off, so your miner is going to go down its list of pools, this one's off, this one's off, this one's off, this one's off, it'll see that this one's on and it'll start mining on it and if we go back to the status page we can see they're all turned off except for the what is this? Is this X11? Uh, I don't see. I'm pretty sure that what we're mining right now is X11 though. And so all the other ones show offline so this is the only one that it can mine on and that's what it mines on. And that's how they do their automatic switching. The other thing that you might want to set up here is auto exchange so I have mine set to auto exchange to Dash. No matter what I mine, whether it's some random altcoin or whatever, I'm going to be getting Dash. And then you can set out your payout address by going to each coin, clicking on it, and then you can see your dashboard and you can see that you're mining at whatever you're mining at. And you can go to Wallet and set out your payout and payout threshold. Uh, I think that's pretty much everything for this video. Let me know if you have any, th any questions, and uh, thanks for watching.